Hey everyone and thank you so much for watching today's video. In this video I am going to show you how I did my eyebrows. Here you can see the before and here you can see the after. So I'm going to use a new product today from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's called the Brow Freeze and it kind of makes your brows go from normal. <laughs> I have kind of normal brows to more like a fluffier, fuller version in a really natural way. Now my brows are not really thin, but also not really thick. They're kind of like in between, but I love how this product makes it appear more fuller. So this is the product I was talking about, the Brow Freeze from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, this is their newest product, it's the Brow Styling Wax, that's how they call it. And um, I'm going to use a brush from them as well, which is, I think, D78, if I'm not mistaken. But I will make sure to put all the products in the description bar. So it's kind of like a clear, sticky product. Um, I think you can kind of like compare it to soap, which a lot of people use for their brows as well. And I use my brush directly in the product and then I use it on the cap of the little pot where the product is in. So after like putting my brush into the product, kind of like mixing the product in the brush, I am going to brush my brow hairs. And you can take as much time as you want for this or as less time as you want. Um, the kind of thing you want to do at first is make sure that the product is in your brows and then kind of brush it in the shape you want. So I think I'm not having the best hairs for this because I always cut my hair so you can see that the end part of my brow has more shorter hairs in comparison to the middle part and that's because I always use a scissor to cut the hairs at the end so whenever I do my brows this way it really shows so yeah I wanted to mention that uh, I think it's gonna look so pretty on people that never use a scissor actually because probably your hairs are gonna be the same length I'm not quite sure, but I'm still gonna make it work because it doesn't really matter, but it just shows if you know what I mean. So this is how it's currently looking. Um, after brushing the hairs up, I am going to brush them a little bit down because it looked a little bit crazy. So you wanna make sure your hairs are as much as possible still up, but you kinda wanna blend the outer ends a little bit downward so it doesn't look really crazy. But this is a personal preference, like you can kind of make it the way you want it, but I personally prefer it the way it's looking right now. You still have the hairs going up, but not in a really crazy way, if that makes sense. So when it's looking like this, I decide to go to the next step, which is filling in the gaps using a product. I first went in with the brow Wiz from Anastasia, but I noticed that the pencil wasn't really working. It didn't go well with the brow freeze. So I decided to go in with some powder instead. I have this Pro Brow Palette from Anastasia and I'm going in with the color Ash Brown and Medium Brown, kind of like mixing both shades on my brush. Um, Anastasia also sells these brow powders individually, so you don't need the Pro Palette. I mean, I only use two or three shades from the whole palette, so I just wanted to mention that. So I'm just gonna fill in all the gaps and this is also going to make my brows appear more fuller. Um, first I went in with a pencil, but like I said, it wasn't really working. I think because the Brow Freeze product it's kind of sticky, so when I went in with the pencil, um, the point of the pencil just kind of didn't work anymore. So it, it didn't go well together, basically. So the brow powder actually worked really well, and I actually love powder. I actually prefer powder over pencil, because powder gives more of a softer effect. And since we're going for a soft brow, I actually really like that. So this is the before, and here you can see the after, and I am just in love. It gives such a beautiful natural effect. I love brows that look more natural. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys like the end result as well. I am also going to show you how I did it at the other brow side, which is this side. So you can all see it one more time. Hopefully this is going to be helpful. Definitely try it on yourself. Um, you can also use some soap. 
um, which is a less expensive alternative for this Anastasia product. I actually filmed a video where I use a really inexpensive soap bar um, to create this soapy brow effect. So I will make sure to put that link in the description bar in case you don't want to spend that much money on a brow product. Soap is a really nice alternative. If you guys want my honest opinion, if I would um, like compare the soap to this product by Anastasia, I think it's almost the same. The only thing I noticed is that I find personally that the Anastasia product is a little bit less greasy and kind of like mm, yeah, messy. I don't know how you say it in English, but with the soap, I noticed that it left more of a greasy texture on my brows, which looked really nasty up close. It's kind of hard for me to explain, so I prefer the Anastasia one, but I can understand that if you don't have or you don't want to spend a lot of money, um, a soap bar is a really nice alternative. But I will make sure to put the link to that YouTube video in the description bar in case you want to check it out. So I'm just going to put a little bit of music on so you guys continue to watch how I do it at this side of my eyebrow. And then here you have it, this was the before on my left eyebrow and then here you can see the after. So I really hope this video was helpful, definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. This is really helpful for my YouTube channel, also don't forget to subscribe. If you aren't already, I upload new makeup tutorials every week. I upload more natural looks, more dramatic looks, so if you are into makeup, Hopefully you're gonna enjoy watching my videos and yeah, I just hope this video was helpful Let me know if you're gonna try using soap or if you're gonna grab the Anastasia one I am definitely gonna use this product more often just because I think it's so much easier than using a soap bar I also feel it like it's a little bit more hygienic because it's just in a little bottle so it just feels more clean to me personally but yeah definitely let me know your thoughts and if you're gonna try it and yeah thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will see you all in the next one bye guys i don't even know why i'm here you've been so distant lately taking your time losing my mind yeah do i even care anymore taking my love for granted Thinking about ice turning to dust